Two trucks travel from Alphaburg to Betawell along with, uh, the same route. Speed limit for the first 30 miles is 60 miles per hour. So let's say this is the entire route from A to B. First 30 miles, speed limit is 60 miles per hour. Speed limit for the next 10 miles is 40 miles per hour. So next 10 miles, it's 40 miles per hour and for the final 60 it is 55 so the final 60 miles it's 55 miles per hour so the entire route is of 100 miles f has a maximum speed of 70 and truck s has a max a speed limiting governor installed to cap its maximum speed at 50 so for f the maximum limit is 70 miles per hour and for s the maximum is 50 miles per hour truck s departs 12 minutes before F. So let's say truck S starts at 10 a.m. from this point. So to cover 30 miles, okay, and its speed is maximum 50 miles per hour. So this is what will cover, and you know, this is the speed at which it will cover these 30 miles. So if you see, if you calculate, it will take 36 minutes to reach here. So it will reach here at 10.36. F would start at 10, 12, okay, 12 minutes later. So, and it will, you know, its maximum is 70 miles per hour, but the speed limit here on this route is 60 miles. So it has, it'll have to travel at 60 miles per hour. And to cover 30 miles, it'll take 30 minutes. So it'll reach this point at 10.42. So S entered this zone, this 10 mile zone, six minutes earlier. So for this 10 miles, the speed limit is 40 miles per hour. It's less than the maximum of both. So both will travel at 40 miles per hour along with this route. So we don't need to calculate anything. Both will take same amount of time to cover this particular part. Now, what it means is S will reach this point six minutes earlier. That means by the time F reaches this point, S has already traveled for six minutes. So let's take this separately. The 60 miles we are talking about. When F reaches this point, when F enters this zone, S has already traveled for six minutes. Now speed of S, uh, uh, I mean the speed limit here is 50 miles, but S can travel at maximum 50 miles. So this would be its speed, uh, speed of uh, S. F can travel at 50 miles, 55 miles per hour. So this would be speed of F. Now S has already traveled for 6 minutes, so in 6 minutes at this speed it will cover 5 miles. So by the time F enters this zone, this point, S has already traveled 5 miles. Now it becomes a simple case of, uh, you know, somebody is 5 miles ahead and difference of speeds is so and so. So we'll take 1 hour, F will take 1 hour to catch S. So F after entering this point will take one hour. So in one hour, F travels 55. The speed is 55 miles. So F would cover 55 miles and reach this point five miles ahead of the final point B. So that's your answer.